You know, uh, I was uh, chatting with Jeffrey earlier today. Yeah. Meteorologists are everyone's best friends right now. They this are. This weekend. Yeah, they are for the, for the weekend <laughs> and for the eclipse that's going on as mm -hmm. well for us. I, I do tomorrow. Uh, you know what? It's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, yeah the I weather's know. literally going to be perfect for you to see the annular solar eclipse. That's right. So if you plan to watch it, you need to make sure that your eyes are also protected. One a local ophthalmologist is showing our Aaron Jones the damage that can happen if you're not careful. It's an experience North Texans don't want to miss. But it's like science, like the universe, and this is a great opportunity to see. Dressed for the occasion, Guadalupe Salgado purchasing solar eclipse merchandise from these Dallas track students holding a fundraiser. Well, I'm actually going to a camp. So I'm going to be watching it from my account. This is my first eclipse. Saturday late morning into early afternoon, the moon will pass between the sun and the earth. But if you plan on watching the solar eclipse, you'll want to make sure you're wearing protective eyewear. So wearing your UV protective ones you got at the drugstore or the great ones you got prescription that have UV protection in it, will do no good. Dr. Jeffrey Whitman says look for these glasses that list an ISO rating on the inside. It should say 123122. Next, hold up the card with a hole and rest it on your shoulder. So you can the see other the way the you can do it is get online, go to YouTube, and you can make what's called an eclipse light, bo light box. And when you get that damaged or burned, you can't fix it, you can't replace it. Looking directly at what's being called the ring of fire for 30 seconds to a minute can burn the center of your retina permanently, as shown in this image. You know, when there's a big eclipse, we always have two or three people coming in. We've never seen anybody, thankfully, that did it long enough to lose permanent vision, but we have had people that have had permanent kind of fuzzy areas in their vision from doing it. So the big takeaway is that these glasses are a necessity. You can buy them from places like CVS, Walgreens, and local grocery stores. They'll usually cost you about 3 to $10. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.